Hey guys, Ruby here with Unorthodox Aquatics, and I'm here today to talk with you about the Black Bullhead. Now, the Bullhead, um, specifically the Black Bullhead, uh, is larger than the yellow and brown Bullheads typically. Um, they are native to only North America and Canada. Um, in North America, mainly the eastern um, to uh, the central northern half of it. So here's a closer look. I have caught two of my bullheads here. Um, they are both black bullheads. Uh, the smaller one is a little lighter though because of its age and probably the stress from being in here. And there's the larger one. Um, they have, uh, they're characterized by their smooth bodies um, that are actually covered in taste buds. Um, they have dorsal and pectoral spines and a few pairs of barbels as well. Another interesting characteristic, here let me change the view. You can't see it super great because I'm looking through glass and plastic in this container, but Right there between the dorsal fin and tail is a small uh, uh, fatty adipose fin. Uh, and these guys also see uh, many catfish have the forked tail, but these guys are characterized by their squared off tail, if you can see. So these guys are found in like uh, the murkier, uh, the kind of shallower areas of bogs, streams, lakes, rivers. Um, they can withstand low oxygenated and brackish water. Um, and they like a lot of cover, a lot of wood, a lot of rocks, a lot of plant vegetation and surface cover, um, stuff that makes them feel safe. These guys are bottom feeders. Uh, they eat um, uh, virtually anything that'll fit in their mouths. Uh, smaller fish, insects, uh, they like live as well as uh, they are scavengers as well in the wild. Um, they do have land predators, uh, raccoons, um, bears, birds, but uh, not very many predators in the water, though smaller bullheads can get eaten by uh, larger fish. These guys uh, spawn in the spring and summer, usually when waters are around 70-ish uh, degrees. Um, the females nest in shallower water with lots of cover. They uh, nest by making dips in the substrate and laying their eggs there. Um, both parents uh, watch over the eggs and the fry. So these guys um, are, and other native species, are becoming increasingly popular to have in aquariums, um, if you can have them in your area, that is. Uh, this is the habitat uh, that I have for my bullheads. Uh, there's also a snapping turtle in there that uh, is of compatible size because the bullheads uh, could get hungry and actually uh, make the snapping turtle a meal if it were small enough. Um, you'd think it would be a the other way around with the turtle eating the bullhead, only if the turtle is significantly larger. Um, you can see here, uh, let me... Um, show you closer up the habitat. So I've got some brick and wood and rock, uh, lots of vegetation, um, a rocky bottom. Um, these guys appreciate cover, like I said, so I've got the bricks stacked in a fashion. Uh, there are some little feeders in there for it. It's a little look. Um, they do appreciate, like, black water environments uh, like this. You know, the tannins leach out from the wood, 
and they produce uh, the tea colored darker water which also adds to the environment they like of uh, reduced light actually and um, you know it it also adds to the uh, cover component keeping them safe um, these guys like you know the the hiding spaces uh, and moderate to high filtration is required because uh, they are messy in aquariums um, and uh, they eat you know almost anything voraciously so yeah uh, pretty messy. So these guys are essentially cold water or uh, room temperature water if you keep them in tanks. Be sure to keep them a fish uh, around the similar size as them. They will eat anything uh, smaller fish obviously included. Um, so you can keep them with things that are of compatible size and also uh, compatible similar water um, specifications uh, like goldfish, koi, and other native species like that. As far as feeding in an aquarium, you can pellet train these guys if they are young enough. Um, they'll also eat uh, raw foods like cut up fish or shrimp um, and also live feeders, worms, uh, you know, other small fish or frozen cubed foods. Um, the tank size minimum for these guys is recommended at 55 until they get about 4 or 5 inches. Then they'll need something a little larger with uh, a bigger footprint. So there you have it guys. That was my little video on the black bullhead. Uh, Ruby here with Unorthodox Aquatics. Subscribe if you like. Otherwise, you guys have a great night. Bye.